These images are a part of street art expression. The business owners, fearing the violence sometimes seen at Black Lives Matter protests, put up boards to protect the windows at their New York City businesses. Later, artists painted the boards. The artists who use the boards as their canvases are of different nationalities, hold different political opinions, but collectively, their art is a contribution to the fight against racism in the United States. The first boards went up to cover broken windows, and then other businesses began to board up their windows before the looters could get to them. First, graffiti began to appear on the boards, and then later more artists started to paint on the plywood. There appeared to be no specific manager or curator behind the plywood art in downtown Manhattan, but in Brooklyn there were a few organized painting sessions. I talked with 50 artists. I found them on Instagram or spotted them on the streets. Many of the artists agreed to be interviewed by me, but some of them didn't answer or actually block me. I am an artist, curator, and filmmaker. I worked in Tribeca with the Vanity Gallery. This business has since closed down, but during the protests, the building owners put up plywood and I decided to document the art that decorated the boards. What artists are doing is without permission and considered a crime. The police department has a special unit for investigating urban art. But the police stopped pursuing painters during the Black Lives Matter movement. Although the artists had free reigns, they were still unsupported by the city government. Some of the artists lived in Soho, and some came from poorer sides of town. I met a few artists who used to be in the military. One of the artists was an Air Force veteran, and he told me about his daily financial struggles. He introduced me to one of his friends, who was more well-off, and I learned about their fight against capitalism. Not all the paintings were political, and not all the artists were a part of the protests. However, it still felt like the beginning of something. These images are poetry, untold stories, and are important. I didn't know if the artists were people of color, but they tried to speak for them. They are ghostwriters. I spent months taking photos, and I thought about how glorious this was for New York City. I believe that a real artist should spread love and hope with their art, but an artist shouldn't sell their soul. It's said that all graffiti is protest art, but these paintings are exceedingly political. Most importantly, this art was freeing, like seeing art in prison. These paintings were like a flashlight in darkness. <laughs>